That's my best friend. So, today I'm going to be talking to you about some questions I keep getting on different posts. So, I did a, several videos, well, more than several years ago, even months ago. So sometimes people are coming on those videos and they want to know, um, they're asking questions about that. Now, sometimes you know how much eBay changed and everything is changing on a daily basis so fast that you have to check the dates of these videos before you're asking questions because a lot of times procedures change and um, fees change and things like that so you have to keep that in mind so today what I want to do is show you where to go if you see an older video but you need the information for it today I'm going to show you a great tool you can utilize if you happen to actually ask the um, content creator who created that video the question and they're not getting back to you in an ample amount of time so I'm going to show you another place you can go to get those answers okay so today I am drinking a nice glass of water with a slice of lemon so yes I did have let me see coffee this morning it was decaf so it was rather boring but it was good I didn't need the extra caffeine this morning I was kind of already up and going so I just kind of drunk some decaf and now I'm just drinking my water I'm trying to get my um I know it used to be eight ounces eight eight ounce glasses a day but then I read it was something like half of your body weight so if you are 150 you want to drink like 75 ounces of water. So pretty much what I try to do is, um, I think this is this is probably like an eight ounce glass, but um, I'll drink two of these, no, four of these, and then I have a bigger glass. I think that one is kind of like a 16 ounce. I'll drink two, either two of those or four of these um, for dinner, lunch. I try for dinner lunch and breakfast so I try so I try to get 16 ounces um no 30 what is it 32 32 ounces for dinner for lunch for breakfast lunch and dinner so that's pretty much a good way for me so usually I can meet those requirements but a lot of times um that last glass I just can't seem to get in but because that usually usually that last glass keeps me up all night I'm running back and forth to the restroom at night and I hate waking up you know how you be like dreaming that you gotta use the bathroom and everything then you gotta wake up and go to the bathroom I, I so a lot of times I don't get that last glass in unless I work wake up really really early so anyway enough about me and my water so, um, so what you want to do is you want to go to your eBay, the main page, which I am showing here on the screen. So what you want to do is scroll all the way down, scroll all the way down. Don't get discouraged or lose focus with all the items that they have for sale. <laughs> Because you will be buying and buying and buying, okay? So you want to scroll all the way down past the wallets, past the kitchen appliances, the fur coats, the hats, the album covers. So anyway, let me get down here. Anyway, I just did a control arrow down. So if you go over here where it says community, you go all the way down say eBay community click there so once you get to the community you will get to this page here so it has a lot of different things on this page guys and this 
this page can be very beneficial to you because there's a lot of sellers and a lot of like um I guess they're kind of like advisors. I don't know if they work for eBay or they just have different groups. I have a group on here, but I've had for several years now. Sometimes I get questions in there and they ask me things and I'm able to help them. Um, they have the eBay podcast. This is a really great podcast. If you guys haven't listened to it, listen to it. I've listened to it for several years. Um, I, I think Griff, he is still on there, but... Um, there used to be another lady, I forget her name, but she was really good. She had been with eBay for years, and I think she just retired like maybe two or three years ago, I want to say. But Griff is really knowledgeable. They keep you abreast of everything that's going on, like especially like during the holiday season. They'll tell you like what's selling. Let's just click into here. Okay, so this here is... Um, Kathy, she has a group on Facebook. She's very knowledgeable about a lot of eBay things. She's always at the eBay conferences. I did meet her at one of the conferences, took pictures with her and everything. This is Griff. I saw him at one of the conferences here in um, Las Vegas. He's very knowledgeable as well. He's still on, he's on the podcast. I think Kathy was probably like a guest or something. But if you want to listen to these, um, you can get it on the Apple Store or your Google Store, Play Store, and things like that. You just It's also on Stitcher and everything. So you can go there, download the eBay um, podcast, and listen to those. I think they come on like... Let me see. Click here for the latest announcements. I forget because I have the podcast, but I just kind of like listen to all my different podcasts each day. So I have to find out when this one comes on for you. You can call or email here, but if you download it, you can just, let me see. So yesterday, one was, so I'm going to say Tuesdays. Yeah, because this one looks like seven days ago. Yeah, I'm going to say Tuesdays. Yeah, here it is here. So the eBay for Business podcast is published every Tuesday morning and is presented by eBay, Lipson, Lipson and Podcast 411. So yeah, every Tuesday, you guys, it comes on. So you can just... Go, if you have Apple or Google, go to your stores, download the app, and then you listen every Tuesday. It's really good information. So say if you come across a video like, for instance, seller fees, and you saw that I did that video about six, five, four, three, two years ago, what you can do to get the updates is you can go in here. Um, so... I wouldn't go to like announcements or anything because you probably won't find it. You can go to discussions. You can go to discussions. And you can find discussions this way. So you can do a search. So you can search for the best tips and things like that. You can start your own conversation and ask the question. And then several different people will get back to you. All right. So if you're new to eBay you know, they have some questions that's probably been asked several different times by lots of newbies, and you can get the answers that way. People will come back and answer you. So you're not actually waiting for that YouTuber to get back to you because, you know, sometimes we're asking, we're answering the question over and over and over again, and then things change. So, um, this is a good way to do it as well. Okay. So another thing I wanted to share with you, look here, they have um, buying and selling basics. So these are going to be different groups, how you start your eBay business and eBay selling and coaching and classes. So this is pretty good information to kind of utilize you guys. Um, questions and answers here, commonly asked questions, and community mentor corner. So let's see what this one is about. So
so as you can see over here to the right you have your top contributors some of these people are um, always answering your questions so you'll probably get just depending on the YouTube you'll probably get the um, question answered quickly here but some youtubers are on point and they will answer your questions I try to get my questions answered as quick as possible what to do if your package but you know if if it's a video that you're asking me a question about from six years ago I will have to go and do my research so I can give you guys the right answer so that's why I'm saying you could utilize this platform too because you may get a response quicker here rather than from me so it would be a good thing to like post your question on um, in the comments um, below or and and post them here in one of the discussion groups okay so I just want you guys to be able to you know not stop everything just because you're waiting on an answer from a youtuber okay so that is what the community mentor is about and then over here we talked about the podcast and then they also have groups so this is really interesting here too because you have you know your regional groups you have eBay categories so you can you know if you wanted to ask anything about antiques art automotives depending on your category you can go here you have your business insights for a local seller events so I'm wondering if the um it's probably too soon to know about the conference for this year. I think it's going to be online anyway, though. I think I did see an a, um, email that came through that said it was going to be online again for this year. But those are really fun. So if you guys ever get a chance to go, go. So I went to two here in Las Vegas. I think it was 2017 and 2018. Yeah, I think so. Had an amazing time. It's a great experience. So, so groups, um, business insights, your regional groups. So depending on where you live, you can go to your regional groups, special, special interests. So book clubs, computers, things like that. Meet up and organizers. They have forums for everything. They also have the blog. So yeah, so um, eBay has everything you need here. So you guys don't get discouraged when you come across something and you don't know the answer. There are so many possibilities that you can, you know, besides like waiting to get an answer from one specific person, you can go here and you can post your questions in several, several of these different groups and you know, some of them may answer faster than others. So yeah. And then also you can see your announcements that come out and then the spring seller update. Um, I did do a video on that not too long ago, but only went over a couple topics. So if you want to see the whole thing, you can come here as far as like fees and listing, listing and promoting items and running your business. Yeah, so so yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about on with eBay. But I also want to tell you that you know ThreadUp had opened back up for me. So I'm very excited. I have been sending a bag in like every week because I'm like, look, I need to get this stuff to you. So my first bag, I don't know how, but I sent a bag in probably like, four weeks ago but then I sent another bag um, like two weeks ago and that bag got processed before the older bag the first bag so I'm just kind of like weirded out by that I don't know why but I don't care but um, yeah it opened up for me and I'm excited about that yeah I have seen that the cost 
have gone down as far as the payouts, but I don't know. I'm kind of bummed about that. But I guess I have to just send more stuff in. But as far as, you know, different clothes and stuff, I still have some clothes that I sent in that were from, like, Target. I have several items that were from, like, Walmart and some mall store items. So, to me, they still seem to be taking all the things that I've sent in. So, um, I was kind of trying to test them out to see what was going on, but... I guess really the only thing is, um, oh, I think if you're, if you had been there already, if you were grandfathered in, cause you've been a seller already, you can still send those items in. But if you are new to after they made the rule, then you can't, that's what I think is going on. If you know for sure, let me know in the comments. I have to go back and read that again, but now that I'm remembering, I think that is the key your grandfather then to send that stuff in so but yeah so i'm gonna try to like order my bag every week and then send out a bag every week or you know until i could get up to like two because it's a lot of stuff so let me know too you guys are you sending when you send your bags do you actually send for the bag or do you just get a label i like the bag myself because I don't have like big boxes or anything like that sitting around. So I like to use the bags. The only thing is you have to wait for them. So what I've been doing is just like, you know, trying to remind myself to send, to get a clean out bag every single week. So I'll have one coming in because it usually takes about, I don't say about a week before they get to you. But if you get the, um, if you just do the label, you can get it right away so let me know but I did order some labels just to be on the safe side in case they just be like you know oh it's turned off again and I got a couple labels sitting on the side <laughs> all right so yeah if you have, guys have any questions let me know in the comments below and just wanted to share that tip with you guys I hope you are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time all right